Hello, let's paint a vintage red car today. Uh, I've never painted or drawn a car before today. Uh, so I had to try a couple of times before I got this right. And then I painted this once. I'm going to try and paint it again. All right. What makes it challenging is because this is a metal. Uh, it has a lot of reflection and highlights and so it's harder to paint so you'll have to try a cup a few times before you get it right so don't be disappointed if you don't get it exactly like the picture right so to paint this what i'm going to do is actually paint with bright red so i am going to take some vermilion and some Scarlet Lake and then make a bright red I'm going to paint it wet on dry. Oh uh, If you want to take a screenshot of this picture you can do so. Print it and then trace it if you can't draw. So here's the screenshot. Can get you a small close up, maybe. All right. Okay, take a screenshot, print it, and paint with me. I'm painting wet on dry. As much as possible, I'll try to follow the contour. We may have to paint it in multiple layers to get the brightness that we want. Okay, now let's paint the top. Now let's paint the top of the tires or the wheels. not the window, the frame around the window. Because of the angle that the car is in, you don't see the fourth wheel. You only see three of them. All right, now let's paint the windows. The windows are plain clear glass, but because we can't paint it clear glass what I'm going to do is take some yellow ochre and water it down it's extremely light make sure you wipe your brush on a paper towel before you start painting
This is an extremely watered down ochre yellow. water clean water on the brush and lift some paint so it's not as dark i'm going to do the same here make sure it's very watered down ochre yellow Now let's paint the tires. I'm going to paint them black. The outer part black, the inner, this part here is silver. We'll paint that silver with some paints gray. Let me actually take a smaller brush so it's easier to paint the tires make sure it's a thick consistency paint and not too watery otherwise you won't be able to control the flow If your brush has a lot of paint, wipe it off on a paper towel. Before you start painting. The front tire. the interior later All right, now let's paint the bumper. The bumper is actually silver color. I am going to paint the bumper with a very watered down paints gray. Car, I'm going to paint it red, but I'm going to paint it slightly darker because it's under the car so it's under the shadow so I am going to mix some purple with my red with my scarlet red and paint this slightly darker I'm going to paint this also slightly darker this is because this is under the car again
so this is the step for the car I'm going to paint the step black and the metal part above that I will paint it with a light watered down paints gray I'm going to wait for this to dry and then I'll fix this I'm going to take slightly darker paints gray of thick consistency and I'm going to paint the rear view mirror this is inside the car I'm going to paint the wipers, the windshield wipers, also with a thick consistency of black. I will paint thick consistency of paints gray, not black. And then I'm going to paint the steering wheel. paints gray also so what you see here is the uh, the window on the other side that you can see through the front windshield just going to mark those edges with paints gray So assuming you're seeing the washer of the window from outside. Okay. Now let's paint the interior of the tires red. I'm going to take some vermilion and scarlet red and I'm going to paint this I'm using a thick consistency paint so it's easier for me to control don't make it watered down if you have a lot of paint or your paint is watery make sure you tap it on a paper towel so this is the back of the tire so you don't see the red as much I'm just gonna make a very thin yeah. right 
Now let's paint the headlights. I'm going to paint the headlights with paint gray and maybe some ultramarine blue. Very watered down paint. Again, make sure you wipe your brush on a paper towel. The inner circle, I'm just going to leave it white, but rest of it, I'm painting with a very watered down ultramarine blue. You can hardly see it. Can make it darker later, but for now, I'm just going to keep it very light. Leave the inner circle white, don't color it. I'm going to paint this, the interior part. That's like a shield that holds the tires. I'm going to paint that silver. It's silver, but I'm just going to paint it with paint gray. Okay, so we're done with the first layer. Now make sure your paper, your painting is dry. Mine is dry. So I'm going to paint a second layer or a second wash for the car. And so for that, I'm taking Scarlet Lake and vermilion. Now this is thicker consistency. Mix enough paint so you have the same color. Otherwise it will look different at different places. So I'm going to paint a second layer. This part needs to be darker because this is under, underneath. If you're happy with the brightness of the color, you can work on the highlights. Otherwise, you can add another layer of paint. I am going to add highlights. And for that, I'm actually using white gouache. The highlights will be in different shapes. Okay. 
wash your brush and then let's brighten this the bumper so I'm going to take some paint spray water down I'm wiping my brush off and adding few shadows I'm going to add some highlights too Let's paint the center with white gouache. And I'll fix the shape of the headlight. I'm going to darken this a little. Okay. After the gouache has dried, let's paint another layer of red again I'm making a mixture of scarlet red and vermilion and as I said make sure you have enough should have been a little watered down so you can actually see the brightness you can see the highlights so I'm going to water it down a little I'm not going to paint as dark we want the highlights but we want them to be subtle wait for the gouache to dry otherwise it's going to mix To the red mixture, I'm going to add a little bit of purple and add some shadows or darker color.
just to show the rim I lost some of the white so I'm just going to take a very little gouache and then try to make it not as obvious but just very subtle. Since the red is still wet, it's going to blend in and it won't be too layering. I'm going to paint the rim of the window just to depict the metal portion of the door. Just gonna make sure you use a small brush. I'll make sure the paint is not too wet. There's a shadow of a tree falling on this, so I'm just going to add a little bit of paint gray. Very light, just to show the shadow on the windshield. Okay. If you don't want to do that, you can leave it. Highlight this a little more. Alright, this portion I'm going to make it a little darker because that's the step.
All right, now let's leave the car as is for some time until it dries. Let's paint the bottom. This is the shadow, which is almost like a square. Not exactly a square, but somewhat like a square. So I'm going to take a mixture of purple and paints gray very watered down and then I'm going to paint the shadow of the car I'm going to switch to a bigger brush to paint the road and for that I'm using a mixture of yellow ochre and paints gray. I'm going to paint this grass here light green or leaf green. So first before that let me just paint the entire section with water. I'm just going to apply water. Make sure your car is dry. I'm going to assume the light is falling from this side so the trees on this side will be lighter and the trees on this side will be darker but everything will be out of focus because the focus is on the car but I'll paint the grass here but slightly thick consistency paint So this is the grass. Now I have to paint the foliage. So for that, because I'm assuming the light is coming from the left side, I am going to take some lemon yellow and paint. this portion I am going to take some green leaf green and paint this leaf green I'm going to make this darker again later yeah. if the yellow is not bright go back and add some more All right. 
right now let's paint the foliage and for that I'm just going to take a smaller brush and I'm going to take thick consistency yellow green or leaf green wipe it off on a paper towel and then make just the foliage with just tapping the brush Make sure you leave some gaps so the yellow actually shows through. Okay. I'm going to paint some more here. I'm going to take some sap green and add some sap green. Again, it's not very watered down. We don't want the entire thing to flow and make a big mess. We don't want a blob of paint. Okay. Make sure you leave some white ga uh, gaps in between so the yellow shows through so you can see that the light is flowing through now I'm going to take some sap green and mix it with some paint spray to make it darker and add a few more I'm going to add darker foliage at the bottom and lighter foliage at the top. Okay. You can add some blue to make a different shade of green just to indicate that it may be a different plant okay. All right, you have to do this when the paper is still wet this time it's starting to dry so what I'm going to do is because this is going to be darker in the sap green mixture I am going to mix a little bit of burnt umber and add a few darker leaves here again don't cover the entire thing Make sure the back ground color shows through. Now that this paper is dried up, so I'm going to add some grass, just using some stippling technique to add some texture. I 
I'm going to do the same. All right. If you want to add more highlights, you can. I need to add a black stripe here. So for that, I'm just going to use my waterproof pen. It's not writing, so let me use this pen. And there's a there was a tiny bulb here that I forgot. That was painted orange, uh, so let me color that. Just gonna take some orange and paint it. If you want to add more highlights, you can use a white gel pen. All right, that's it. I hope you like it. Try it. Let me know. Bye.